Hello, 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 everyone. Your pal Avenger Green is back with a new comic review. Today, we got Void Rivals issue one, courtesy of Robert Kirkman, Lorenzo De Felici, and Mateus Lopez. Now, I'm sure some of you watching this video already know what the big surprise of this book is. It's definitely making the rounds on, rounds on news sites like Newsarama, AIPT, and Comic Book Resources. But if you're not aware of what the surprise is, I'm letting you know ahead of time, I'm going into spoil full spoilers for this book, and that's your only warning. So, Void Rivals takes place on a barren asteroid where two aliens from Morg factions have crash land on. Our main duo oh, is the Argorian called Darak, and, and, it, and the Zertonian in Selenia. Technically, we also got a third character, or Darak's robotic hand called a Handroid. Now, we don't really know a lot about the conflict between in the Argorians and the, the Zertonians. We do know there's a lot of weird stuff and possibly some misinformation around it. For one, commands on both sides are honor-bound to kill any member of the opposition they come across. And they're also never supposed to reveal their true name or what they look like under their armor. A lot of stuff is left intentionally vague, but Robert Kirkman's characterization and really is what keeps you engaged. It's, I especially like how Duroc quickly realizes that following the honor-bound oath isn't the wisest thing to do when both of them are stranded and they probably have a better chance on surviving if they work together. Celia is a bit more stubborn in that regard, but she soon does see Duroc's point. And you also have Duroc's hand droid constantly telling him to stop breaking protocol, which adds even more tension to the situation. And it's especially true because we see in like the first sequence in the comic that the hand droid can actually move, move Duroc's body without his, him being a conscious for it. it. Now, another thing the book has going for it is the art team. You guys already know I prefer stylized and distinct artwork in my comics. Thanks. And if Alici nails the sci-fi aesthetic the book is going for, with Lopez's colors making it all pop out. The backgrounds are suitably barren for the kind of maroon story they're telling, and the designs of both Darak and Celia are top-notch. They kind of got this cartoony action figure look going for them, which, given the twist of the book, that might be intentional. And speaking of the twist, let's just get down to it. So... Oh, after attempting to fix one of their ships and the attempt goes poorly, resulting in an explosion, and our two protagonists is, end up finding another derelict ship and they try to jumpstart it. it. But when it jumpstart, when they do try to jumpstart it, the ship transforms into none other than Jetfire of the Transformers and he even, he even introduces himself as a scientist from Cybertron before realizing that he's been in stasis for possibly millions of years, and then he takes off. And, uh, and believe it or not, that's not the only surprise in this book. Like, the second one is actually neatly foreshadowed. So, after seeing Jetfire's transformation, Duroc is inspired to use parts of their armor to fix one of their ships so they can escape off the planet. It, it does have a breathable atmosphere, but they just need to take off so they can survive without their helmets on, but they, so they just need to take off before the solar radiation gets to them. So Darak and Celia take off their helmets, and we get the big reveal that the Argorians and the Zertonians are in two different alien species. They are the same species, which naturally shocks our two protagonists. And after that stunning revelation, and we then get three pages advertising the true secret of this book. It's the first in a new line of shared universe comics featuring Void Rivals, the Transformers, and G.I. Joe called the Energon Universe, with the announcement that there's a new Transformers ongoing comic coming in October, as well as two G.I. Joe miniseries. Can we just appreciate how nuts this is? A new line of Transformers and G.I. Joe comics gets announced in an indie book that seemingly had nothing to do with either franchises. And they managed to keep it under wraps for so long in this day and age. Well played, Skybound Entertainment. So, that's Void Rivals Issue 1. Obviously, one of the biggest takeaways is, is this the relation this book has as the first new Transformers comic we've gotten in almost two years. 
But even without that connection, it's still a really solid sci-fi book. I'm legitimately curious to see what's going to happen to Darak uh, and Salia, and the mystery surrounding the big war their species is involved in. And I'm definitely going to keep covering this book. It was a legitimately wonderful surprise. And if you like this video, please be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification button so you know when I upload a new video. Until next time, have a great day.